want to change my hair color. Everyone's like, oh, I love your hair color. I love your hair color. And I'm like, okay, sorry, it's going to be going. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to go towards that. So, uh, as I said, already two times in a row. So, thank you guys all for watching. And bye for the last time. Not really. See ya. Hello YouTube, I should be go back with another hair dyeing video. In this video today, I'm going to be going blue. That was late, whatever. Um, but first, first I want to fill you guys in about how the red hair dye kind of went. So that if I remember right, was an unknown amount of conditioner to product ratio. So, I know I said that I was going to fill you guys in right when color started to fade out to show you what it looked like. Color faded out almost immediately. And I knew that wasn't going to happen because when I rinsed it out, it was like, like not even any color was coming out. So... Um, I decided today, because it's summer work, not school time, uh, I'm gonna go blue because it's gray shirt, blue pants, and shoes. And my work uniform was blue, blue, blue. So I didn't want to be four sieges blue, <laughs> because that would look ridiculous. So... Uh, I'm going to be doing two different types of blue, a darker blue and a lighter blue, I hope. So the darker blue, I actually want to get the cobalt in range. Instead, this is the N Indigo blue from Enraged. I wanted to get the cobalt because that's a lot darker, but they didn't have that and they just got this in stock today and the cobalt was going to come sometime next month at my salaries so didn't get that and then for the uh that will be in the mid back section so I'm going to split again like how I did before and then I never heard of this brand before but um my friend at Sally's wanted me to try this is the herb Herbalist, uh, Spawn, Herbalist, Bon, so, whatever, uh, in Nebulizing Blue. It was, like, very, I think, like, almost all the colors were, like, space theme or something, so. This is a lighter, like, pale blue, so this will go in the front, uh, bank part. If I don't like this, I'll put in another color. Give me one second. I just have to go over there. Great. Um, I also was going... Well, I saw this product for a good while, and I kind of want to test it out. I'll test it out eventually, but... Uh, it is this brand. Iro. I-R-O. I-R-O. Um, and this was in 40 Blue. I'm not too sure what that uh, really means but this is uh, meant on for like platinum blonde hairs and I looked at it for almost the whole range and it was almost all for platinum blonde like level 10 up which is very unusual for uh, semi permanent hair dye and this was gonna go in the back but I looked at both of them and this is just slightly darker and I wanted more of an intense uh, color change. So hopefully with this uh, blue and this blue, they're two different. Um, I'll open up the top. And just like the red and purple from the Enraged line, it smells like bubblegum, which one, I don't really like um, fragrance in hair product because when you leave it on your hair 
it tends to smell your hair and I don't really like the scent of bubble gum. Um, this one does not have any smell whatsoever. Um, I'll try this out eventually. Don't know if it's going to be this year or next year. I also have like two or three other blues that I kind of want to try out, but like I said, I don't know. And like blues, I try to stay away from when school's in session. I usually switch over to a different color. And then we have the herbal herbalist uh, one right here. And that's like a really dark blue. This one you might you might be able to see and it's um these uh herbalist ones you have to shake for some odd reason i've seen it before they separate and yeah it's really weird um and this i think was like five dollars so these are not as cheap as some other ones and you're not really getting bang for your buck and i'm going in with straight color I'm not diluting any of these because I'm on the gray slash white slash uh, blonde phase. So I kind of need the intensity color for the first application. After that, I can dial it back a little and still get about the same result. So that's what a lot of people should do if you're doing like the bang for your buck type thing is to go in once with the for, with uh, the strongest and then after that you can dilute it down back and I've noticed only with the Arctic Fox because it's the only color I really uh, got full t almost full test out of uh, Arctic Fox I would only say go down to like a a um, three three to one uh, ratio which is the one is the color and three is conditioner so in a in a let's just say in a four ounce just to keep it all even you would do three ounces of conditioner and only an ounce of the coloring and to me that lasted a good time without it fading but of course color will differ on anything lighters might fade out faster than the darks darks will probably last in a lot longer so I'm gonna shake this up um, off camera and I'm also going to separate off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know this looks a bit weird but this is how I'm gonna separate it out and it's kind of like the same as the last time I did a two different part um, coloring I went from tips ears and then kind of like diagonal like 45 up and I cut out that this chunk right here which is like probably up to like the first knob so like that much so about like maybe an inch or so so I'm first gonna do with the dark color because um, well, usually we start off with the light color because, like, duh, shading and all that. But, uh, to me it's a little bit easier going with whatever chunk is the biggest. So, the biggest would be the, uh, the dark blue, which is right back here. So, this will all be, uh, dark blue. So, all this will be a dark blue. And then up front will be all the light blue. So I'm gonna start it right now. Let me just re reclip it so it's uh, more more sectioned. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay and. This is what the blue looks like. So, as always, spread it out on the hand. And then I'm going to go from the back part first and just work uh, forward.
Uh, I think that is it for the dark blue. Um, something noticing it right off the bat is that I think this is a very intense uh, blue. So, because like one, the color is basically the same on the gloves. So, I'm a little bit, a little bit scared right now um, how it's going to turn out, but um, I wanted to do this color, so, no worries. <laughs> so now I'm going to just switch out the gloves. And also, the, um, the, this blue is a color depositing shampoo and conditioner. Uh, you can do it up to 10 minutes. Uh, for more intense color, which I'm going, do 30. I always do 40 with all my colors, so. And that's the same on this. It says uh, 30 or longer for more color intensity, so. Um, but this is a color depositing shampoo. But basically, I should get the same amount of color just doing it like this. Um, but usually... you would you would do this with uh, damp hair but then go in the shower so I don't have damp hair so let's quickly throw in this and then we'll let it sit and I have a couple new products I want to share with you guys that uh, help me with my hair journey so you guys have some good things to get so give me one second throw these gloves on and we'll go in with the other blue. Okay, so got gloves on. Here's the blue color. Let me just pull this clip out. Okay. So as you see where the dark blue is, this section will all be the light blue. And as you see, I have like about a couple inches of uh, regrowth, um, which I don't know when the next time I'm going to bleach, I kind of want to fully stay away from bleach for a good while more, but we'll see what color I want to go next. So, um, this might be like a lighter blue, but that is what it looks like. So like always, spread it on out. I think this is going to be more of a green blue. It has a little bit like of a plasticky smell, which I do not like. And it looks more like paint like, which I don't like. Okay, so let's get this in. And it's a lot more like a drippy. So you might not need so much. It's literally going everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna use this. Yeah, I'm never gonna use this brand again. Like the quality, to me, is so bad for right now. Okay, I'll put a l I'll put a little bit more in, but that's all. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm just quickly clip this up, and uh, yeah, I'm never gonna use that color again um, because.